Hey guys, so I am back with another video and today I am going to be showing you guys this makeup look. I don't want this intro to be too long so I won't bore you guys too much. Um, I just wanted to come through and show you guys this look. I thought it was pretty, very pretty and it came out really, really great and super just... I love it. I just love it. Um, and the shades that I used, I used mainly from two palettes. I used the Morphe uh, Your True Selfie palette. Um, it's fun. I think it came out like a Christmas or something ago. I don't know. I think it was this Christmas or the Christmas before. I don't know. But I haven't used it. I've had it and I haven't used it, especially on my channel. So I went in with this palette. I used a few shades, like four shades from this palette. And then I used a couple of shades from the Juvia's Place uh, Chocolates palette. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Throughout the video, I will tell you what I use and have everything linked down in the description box if you are interested. Okay, so this is the main palette that I'm going to be using. It's from Morphe, as I mentioned in the intro. Uh, the first shade that I'm going to be using is the Woke Up Like this shade I'm just kind of building that up in my transition you guys know I love shades like this in that transition area next I'm gonna go in with the shade throwback which is slightly deeper and I'm just kind of working that into the crease and right underneath that transition shade And then I'm just pretty much going back and forth between the two shades until I get the desired uh, look that I'm going for. Next, I'm going to go into this shade Morphe Babe just lightly and just blending out those edges. And then again, going back and make sure everything is nice and blended. This shade that I'm going with is actually from the Chocolate Palette from Juvia's Place. It's like that darkest brown in the palette. I believe it's in the first row, the first color. I'm going in with that shade and just putting that in that outer V area and slowly working it in. Next I'm going to go in and cut my crease. I'm using the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Concealer in the shade 13 which is a lighter shade and I'm just going to blend that out with a flat synthetic brush. So now I'm going back in with that deep shade from the Juvia's Place Chocolates palette and I'm just going to blend that back in because it did get lost a little bit when I cut my crease. Now for this beautiful lid color, this is the shade After from the Morphe palette. This shade is so pretty guys and I'm just going to apply that all over my lid. So now I'm going to prep my skin for foundation, which you guys have kind of seen this this uh, pre-foundation routine before. If you want the full video, I will have that linked in the cards, but I'm pretty much going to do that and then we'll hop into the foundation. So now I'm going to go in with the Black Radiance Corrector. I believe this is the Black Radiance one and I'm just going to apply that kind of around my mouth and under my eyes. Not right up to like the base of my waterline but I'm definitely going to apply it underneath my eyes where I have some darkness. Now 
Next, I'm gonna go in with the Milani foundation. This is the Perfect and Conceal foundation and concealer. I use the shade Chestnut and I think Spiced Almond. I will have it linked down below. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Juvia's Place um, foundation sticks to highlight and contour. I will have the names of the shades that I use listed down below. I know this dark shade is Tanzania. Um, the lighter one, I don't remember. But I will have everything linked down below as I stated before. And I'm just gonna blend that out. My contour out with a brush first, and then I will blend out my under eye and my highlight areas with my beauty blender. Now I'm going in and setting my under eye with my Ben Nye powder and banana and topaz and I just use that to set under my eyes and all the other high points. Next I'm going in with my MYX liner just to line my waterline and then we will reapply some shades on that lower lash line. So the shades that I'm going in with is that deeper shade from the Juvia's Place chocolate palette. Then I go in with the shade Throwback and then the other shade Woke Up Like This. Pretty much all those shades that I used in the transition slash crease outer V area, I just reapplied those on the lower lash line just so that it kind of ties the look all together. Now I'm going to go in with the shade Artist from the Morphe palette and I just dipped my brush in the shadow and then sprayed it with some setting spray just so that it would really pop in my inner tear duct area and I love how this came out. This is actually a super pretty color as well and it went really well with the look. Next I'm going to go in and set my contour. I'm using the True Complexion Contour Palette from Black Radiance, my usual, and I'm just gonna go in and set that contour. And I'll set the rest of my face. I'm using the Amon Luxury Pressed Powder. I believe this is in Earth Medium. And next for my blush, I'm going in with the Sleek uh, Blush by 3 Palette in Pink Spirit, and I used two, the first two shades. So now I'm going in with the MYX Lip Pencil in Espresso, and I'm just going to line my lips before I go in with the ColourPop Matte Liquid Lippy in the shade Softy and apply that to my lips. Okay, so that is the completed look guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I did apply a little bit of the Ellery uh, Netta lip gloss on top of softy, which I don't think I showed in the video I think I stopped filming, but I added a little bit of that just in the center Just to give my lips a little gloss softy is an ultra matte from ColourPop um, But I felt like Netta will look really good on top especially in the center So I did do that which I did it off camera um, Just so I can just see why my lips are like kind of glossy right now. So you guys would know why um, Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thank you so much for stopping in and checking out my channel If you guys like these videos definitely thumbs up and don't forget to comment down below And turn those notifications on if you are subscribed to my channel if you aren't subscribed to my channel and you made it to this part of the video You might as well just subscribe like just do us all a favor and hit subscribe and you turn your notifications on as well so you don't miss an upload. And I will see you guys in my next one. Also, check out my shop if you guys are interested in these earrings. I will have a link for my shop down below, which you can find these earrings and a ton of other ones in my body butter and soap and everything like that you can find on my site, which I will have a link for that down below. And yeah. And oh, if you are interested in this hair, I do have a video on this hair. I love how it came out, uh, but I do have a tutorial on this hair as well coming out soon if that video isn't out before this one. If it is, I will have it linked in the cards or down in the description box. If it's not out yet, uh, just keep an eye on my channel. Turn your notifications on and you will see when it goes live. Right, so and on. yeah, I'll see you in my next one. Bye.